Hello, my beautiful patrons. How are you today? Uh, it's Friday, best day of the week. And tonight is uh, pizza night in our house. But um, tonight I've decided to mix it up. No pizza tonight. Tonight we're gonna have pasta and broccoli and pesto, which is a great combination. I love broccoli. What a great thing it is. Um, but no one loves broccoli more than my sister. She's addicted. She eats broccoli raw. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to tell you word of the day. And then I'm going to tell you joke of the day. <laughs> joke of the day is funny. Oh, man. Okay. Um, now, word of the day is actually completely useless. Nobody uses word of the day. But it leads us into two other words that are really useful, okay? So, word of the day today is whelm, right? Whelm. Now, <clears throat> what this means is, is basically uh, 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 something, so it could be a, an object like a telephone, or it could be something big, normally like a boat. And what it means is it does this, it turns over. Okay, so, you know, I can whelm my telephone, right? But, but normally the, the original use of the word was for boats. Boats out in the ocean and they would whelm, which is a bad thing if you're in a boat, right? Um, the problem is that this word is now obsolete. It's, um, it's a very archaic word, we, it's only for very special uses, whelm, right? Um, um, and it comes from, from the Old English, the Old English word for an arc, you know, this shape, an arc? So you can see how this shape transforms into something turning over, right? Uh, to capsizing. Um, now, so why am I telling you this word if nobody uses it? Well, because this word had babies. <laughs> it gave birth to two to two words, which is overwhelm, overwhelm and underwhelm. And what do they mean? They talk about emotion. So because when you when you whelm an object, it does this, right? But you can also whelm your feelings. Like when your feelings are like whoosh, turned upside down. You feel, you know, like um, when you're in love and everything is upside down, you can't think and your stomach is, you know, turning. That, that's, that's, that's emotion. That's an excess of emotion. So that's to be whelmed. And then in English, we, when we want to add more emphasis, we want to add more emphasis to something, we double it. So we say overwhelm which is ridiculous because you're doubling. But anyway, this is what happened. So to be overwhelmed is to be, is to be like, is to have too much emotion, so much emotion that you can't, you can't control it, right? You're overwhelmed. And then you can be underwhelmed, which is when you're like, I'm underwhelmed. <laughs> I'm underwhelmed with your PowerPoint presentation. No emotions. Hmm? So it's great. So you can be overwhelmed or underwhelmed. Um, both great words. So, you know, um, next time, next time somebody is telling you a story that's just, you know, or, or maybe you're watching a film that's just so sad and you, you can't, you know, too many emotions. Like, I'm overwhelmed by this film. It's too much. I can't. Or next time, you know, at work, someone's giving you a presentation and it's a very boring presentation. You can say, listen, I'm underwhelmed by this. <laughs> um, so it's a great word, a great word. Um, okay, now joke, joke of the day. Now, <laughs> uh, I have to, I'm warning you in advance that today's joke of the day has a bad word. Okay, has a bad word, I'm sorry, All right? Okay, so, um, uh, okay, imagine, this, this is the joke, I'll start now, oh my God. Okay, so um, there's a group of students, primary school students in biology class. 
Um, so the children are like nine or ten years old and they're in the class and the teacher said now I'm going to tell you something interesting about biology. Did you know that humans are the only animals that stutter? Now, do you know what stuttering is? Stuttering is when you, you try to say a word like whelm and at the beginning you like w w w whelm, okay? That's to stutter, okay? So, um, so yeah, so the teacher says, the teacher says, did you know that, that humans are the only animals in, 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 in all of biology that stutter? And this little girl at the back, she, um, she puts up her hand and says, no, that's not true, teacher. I had a cat that stuttered. And the teacher said, really? What, what, what do you mean? And she said, well, one day my cat was in the garden and suddenly over the fence, a Rottweiler, a big aggressive dog jumped into the garden. And my cat went, <laughs> <laughs> and before the cat could say fuck, the Rottweiler ate it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So good. Such a great joke. Thank you very much to, um... Ah, jokes for that one. Um, nice. So, anyway, I hope you guys have have a great weekend, and um, thanks very much for being my patrons. I'll speak to you soon.